Hey, I'm Josh from Velocity Micro. Today we're gonna to take a look at our Raptor series. This is a 13900K from Intel paired with an RTX 4090. So one thing about the 13900K that I wanna mention, this is a brand new processor. It's a 24 core processor. It's a, um, uses Intel's hybrid technology. So that's eight P cores and 16 E cores. We've got a custom overclock on this one. So we've got the initial uh, two cores, two performance cores running at 6.0 gigahertz. So we're gonna run some benchmarks here in a second, but I just wanna talk about some of the specs here. Um, we've got the RTX 4090 that I mentioned. Um, this is the PNY version of this uh, card. The reason we're using the PNY version is because it's a little bit smaller than some of those bigger cards that you've seen. And because of PNY's history with making Quadro cards, they do a really good job of managing the thermals. So that's why we've used the, the PNY version here in this build. Um, and we're gonna run the benchmarks to show you uh, why the PNY excels as well. Um, so let's take a quicker look at some of the uh, more detailed specs. All right, so just to take a look at some of these components here, we've got 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM, a 360 millimeter liquid cooler AIO, the RTX 4090 graphics card that we talked about, the power supply, that's a thousand watt uh, gold certified power supply, and then the Z690 motherboard. Um, for hard drive, we went with the Samsung 980 Pro. That's currently the fastest drive that's on the market. So that's what we like. I do want to mention that we are using the Z690 motherboard. So before I get a bunch of comments about how we're not using the current motherboard, uh, the Z790 boards also are uh, going to be available here in the next couple of weeks. We didn't want to wait for those boards to come out before we posted this. So it is using a, a 690 board. Um, you know, in terms of performance, they're very, very similar. There is a, a little bit of a steeper upgrade path with the 790, with the M.2 slots and such. And we're gonna do a separate blog post that kind of highlights the differences between those two chipsets. But for now, the uh, 690 performs very similar to the 790. A lot of space inside. Um, one thing that we really specialize in is the custom wiring. So you can see the wiring here is really tight. It's really clean. That is super important when you're building a high-end system like this, especially with the 4090, because airflow is so critical. You really wouldn't be able to get the minimum performance out of this hardware that you could with a nice clean build like this. So uh, that build quality along with the aluminum chassis really helps uh, with the thermals. All right, now we're gonna run some benchmarks. We're gonna use Cinebench, which is a CPU focused benchmark. This is version R23, so it's gonna run a one minute loop and then we're gonna see the processor results here in just a moment. So I'm gonna step aside and let it run. All right, so here we've got some results. We see we've got a score of over 41,000 in Cinebench here. Um, just for some comparison, if you wanna look at the AMD Threadripper, this was a 2990, 2990WX. Um, that is a 32 core, 64 thread, and the 13900K got a score that's over 25% higher. Um, you know, you can look at some of these older gen uh, Intel here as well, and you know, the scores aren't even really comparable. We got 4X uh, the scores um, in terms of CPU performance. So if you're looking to upgrade now, I mean, this is a really significant CPU performance upgrade. Um, you know, this is really relevant if you are a um, a gamer for one, obviously, but if you are somebody that uses like an AutoCAD type program where the top end single core CPU performance is really key, this could really boost your overall productivity. Um, you know, you can render things significantly faster using this processor versus some of your older hardware. That's it for us today in this video. Check out the link below for some additional benchmarks on our blog. We're gonna run full benchmarks on the 4090, some additional benchmarks here on the CPU, just so you can see the breadth of the performance increases that you get with a system like this. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us directly. You can post a comment below, or you can check out our website at velocitymicro.com. Thanks a lot for watching.